right, it looks like I'm bringing home a stray Mexican beach dog. Today, I'm going to give you a lot of backstory as well. I'm going to let you know the information that I currently have to take this Mexican dog into Canada. So I'll tell you what I found out to go from Mexico into the US as well as US into Canada. And I will be doing a follow up video when I get home to let you guys know if everything worked out okay. I hope as you know, Jasper is the love of my life and I would never put him in harm's way. I let him off leash on the beach here at the Isla and all of the stray dogs are super friendly and there's been absolutely no issues at all. And the dogs here all seem somewhat cared for. They're not spayed or neutered, they don't have collars, but they're not starving or deprived and they seem to have people. Except for this dog, he was a mess. His legs were infected and swollen and he was dirty and gross. This dog is so emaciated and skinny and there are two ticks in his fur, like in his skin. And I started Googling how to remove ticks and started seeing what can happen. And I, um, I can't just leave him. I can't just leave this dog. So I'm going to take him to the vet in Mazatlan and just I've got to do something like I just at least am I conscious I have to try something it was really great that Chris was here to drive this dog absolutely loves being in the truck thank goodness for Google Translator I was able to just type in my concerns in English it translated it into Spanish and vice versa they did some blood work and the vet said all of this dog's levels the hemoglobin platelets everything was super low she gave me some antibiotics, steroids, and some treatment for ticks and fleas. We had to apply something to his leg, but the hair was so matted and gross, I started just cutting it all off. I cut off all this feces and you name it, chopped all his hair off. Definitely not the greatest haircut, but he looks so much better. The major issue I have with this dog right now is he is super, super submissive. Jasper has been an absolute shithead to this dog and I'm really worried bringing him home how that's going to be when he tries to get used to other dogs in a different life. I was calling him Baggins and Gandalf and now I started calling him Mago Blanco which means white wizard. Um... I had to do this video. He's doing so much better. He's not even 10 days, I think, 10, 11 days on the antibiotics and doing fabulous. So one more vet visit to do his final blood work. But I had to share this with you guys because this is crazy. I have taken him into the vet four times. He's had blood work, a full dose of antibiotics. He's had like flea and tick medication. Um, yeah, they will not neuter him right now because he's too sick. His blood levels are just too low. Like, I'm going to have to get that back done back in Canada. But everything that we've had done so far has cost me 85 Canadian dollars. That's it. And I'm going to be honest, the level of care here has been phenomenal. I did post a video on what you need to bring your dog into Mexico, but if you're traveling with your pet and heaven forbid something happens, 85 bucks. I can't even imagine what it's gonna cost to get this guy neutered when I get him back to Canada, but uh, we'll see. He's really doing so much better. His leg is healing, all the ticks and everything are gone, and Jasper really is just kind of tolerating him. Jasper's actually teaching him how to be a dog, which is not good. Glad to have caught this moment, Jasper peeing on my tripod, and Mago peeing on my tripod. I can't be too mad though, I mean look at this face, he's adorable. Jasper, Mago, come on! Come on! Hi! Hi! According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Bringing a dog into the United States is actually pretty simple from Mexico. There are certain countries that you need the rabies vaccine certificate. And if you click on the required countries and head down the way to the Americas, um, Mexico is not on there. 
He does need his rabies to get into Canada, but that's really about it. So I'm bringing Mago Blanco home with me to Canada.